Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Monday, June 24th, 2024. Let's find out what's going on on the economic calendar for today. What do we have here in New Zealand trade balance data uh, are better than expected 204 millions uh, while the forecast was 155 millions on the last time minus 3 million. So pretty good data from the uh, New uh, Zealand. We are still waiting for the um, German data in form of the sentiment data. So we got business expectations. Uh, business climate index and the uh, current assessment so this data will uh, be released at 10 o'clock during the beginning of the london uh, session cbi industrial price orders from uk are scheduled for this at noon and uh, 10 minutes later we got the german Bua president joachim nagel to give a speech then we have a series of the ecb uh, members uh, to have a speech from three o'clock to roughly 5 30 then we got speeches from the uh, and Bank of England McLaren uh, as well and at the end of the day we got the FOMC member Dali to give a speech so plenty of speeches in the uh, latter part of the uh, day most likely the most important data releases are from the Germany in form of the you know um, business uh, sentiment index data and then eventually we got uh, we got the data no that's everything then all on this picture so uh because we focus on the euro let's find out what the euro dollar is doing today euro dollar for our chart is trying to move higher why the reason is that we are very very close to the uh, 1.0650 technical support this technical support uh, cannot be violated because in if it is then the short-term outlook will be even more bearish we got the recently some sort of the local low made at the level of 1.0668 and this level uh, will still act as the technical uh, support so right now this zone because uh, be between 1.0668 1 1.06 um 40 uh 49 will act as the demand zone intraday demand zone uh, for the euro dollar most likely we will go as high as the level of 1.0762 is then we go lower again as you can see so some sort maybe maybe just maybe potentially um the double uh, bottom is formed um right now on the four hour chart of the euro dollar now market is trying to move higher uh, we got the technical resistance at 1.0721 uh, trend line of course and 1.0762 is the next um, technical resistance momentum is still negative so bulls are trying so far no avail let's just take a look at this trend line here uh, as you can see um, we've been following this trend line since uh, last week the beginning of the last week we got very nice uh, support uh, in the um, in the past from this uh, trend line we have a breakout then we have the downside movement and then of course some sort of the test however we have uh, uh, broke above this trend line but we didn't last for long one day up second day down it looks like the bearish pressure might be increasing on the euro uh, dollar let's find out what the cable is doing as this is the other major pair and the cable as you can see is moving still inside of this uh, very very uh, uh, nicely aggressively sloping to the downside channel uh, this channel let me just add adjust the channel to the there you go to the recent data and maybe just maybe i will just move it for the okay it's it's fine so my point is that we broke below the orange trend line of obviously we are below the 150 uh, periods moving average on a four hour chart obviously now we are trying to go higher after the local low was made at the level of 1.2621 and now uh, this is very nice demand zone it's been tested at least three times already uh, and uh, I'm tempted to um, basically mark it on this chart let me just find some sort of the uh, rectangle uh, there you go so this rectangle uh, okay um, this rectangle will be of course uh, green and where's my rectangle there you go uh, the rectangle will be um, marking the, uh, of course uh, the demand zone so that's our rectangle and as you can see this is quite 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 substantial rectangle so let me just move it here 
and that's this is how it started and it's still and it's still 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 valid so this is our rectangle our demand zone any breakout below this demand zone would likely be very bearish for the cable because from the bigger picture it looks like this and that trend line that orange trend line is even longer as you can see it's even older and it's even longer uh this one doesn't matter anymore so let's just delete it there you go so this is how it looks like um right now we try to break above 1.26475 technical resistance however um, with that kind of a momentum which is trying to bounce from the extremely overset conditions um it doesn't actually look that uh, strong we need a uh, bigger candles bigger moves better moves stronger moves on cable in order to uh, possibly break above 1.2672 then maybe 1.2740 uh, to actually this level here uh, will be replaced uh, just um, just uh uh marginally to 1.2739 because this is the last high from the june 19th so the outlook for the british pound looks pretty much to the downside as long as we trade inside of the um uh, inside of the channel the bearish pressure is still strong bulls are trying to bounce however so far not really uh, not really like a they're not making very strong movement to the upside okay next one is gold uh just recently we looked at the four hour time frame chart of gold why because there is a very very nice line that might be helpful to analyze this market and uh, from the highs of 2449 through the 2387 uh, we got this trend line. Uh, let me just make it uh, orange as usual. There you go. And then we have a breakout. But then, very, very soon, the market moves back below the trend line. So right now, uh, I think that the best will be watching this level and the trend line very, very, very carefully. And if I'm not uh, wrong, we can, uh, of course, match this trend, uh, this, uh, this channel. Why? because right now the question is whether the market will move inside of this channel up and down up and down up and down roughly above the orange trend line or whether this was only the test and fake breakout and now we should prepare for another movement to the upside moving down from the extremely overbought conditions on a four hour chart from the level of 2368 is of course uh, rather uh, technical so we should expect this market to behave more uh, technical more uh, reasonably 2387 is the next technical resistance however we cannot fall out of the uh, channel otherwise the situation will be much more bearish than it is right now we broke below the level of 50 already now we test the level of um, uh, 50 from below uh, so the bulls are trying to move higher nevertheless it looks like ooh, the mm, the market might be very very susceptible to the bearish pressure and might be uh, looking for another downside um, uh, extension uh, if price gets out of the channel and last but not least let's take a look at the bitcoin because there was a weekend and this weekend was very very uh, interesting what's happened here is that the last swing as you can see has been retraced has been retraced to the level of 61 percent the level of 61 percent is roughly around 62,420, and this is where the uh, last four hour candle has its low so 61 percent of the last swing up has been retraced and it's now or never because if we move below 62,420, uh, the outlook will be much more bearish right because there isn't any strong substantial uh, technical um, uh, technical uh, level f fibonacci level basically on the four hour chart of the of the bitcoin we got this kind of a channelish pattern here maybe some kind of a wedge uh, falling wedge uh, is being built here and um, you will need to apply our there you go this is uh this is the low of the last four hour candle so we cannot go lower than 62,122 all right we are extremely oversold already but as you can see the bulls cannot gain the momentum higher right we have a the bulls are having problem uh, to 
right below the level of 50 um, so there is no rally on a Bitcoin without momentum staying in the negative zone staying um, where the negative sentiment prevails all right so please keep an eye on the current situation please keep an eye on the current uh, market developings because any breakout to the upside above 50 and 100 period swing average uh, first above of course 63,447 then above this swing high this swing high and this swing high would be very very bullish otherwise this correction might get more time uh, might be needing more time will be um, of course more complex more time consuming and uh, Bitcoin traders will spend more time waiting for the rally to resume. That's everything from me for today. Thank you very much for watching this analysis and I hope I see you guys next time. Take care and bye bye.